Now, over the last several weeks, there's been an explosion on Facebook and on the internet on inner glass engraving. And that's because of all these inner glass engraving solutions that are on the market, especially with the latest uh, coming from Xtool with the F2 Ultra UV. The hardest thing is finding real glass. You may be engraving glass and it's not working and you think that there's a problem with the machine, when in fact, it's a problem with the glass. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can identify bad glass from the good glass. And it's super easy so that you're not frustrated with what you're doing. And this is gonna apply for Hao Qian. It's gonna work for the co-marker. It's gonna work for the F2 Ultra UV. It's gonna work for any inner glass engraving UV laser. So you wanna get something like this, but not all glass is the same. Let me show you how you can identify the bad from the good. And then I'm gonna give you some tips as you're testing glass, you want the glass to last the most because this is expensive, right? So you wanna be able to get as many tests before you get your settings down as possible. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that as well. Now I purchased two kits, actually many kits from, from Amazon. Some of them work and some of them don't, even though they say they're K9. And even within the kit, I found that some of them are good and some of them are bad. In order to do this test, one of the things that you're gonna need is a UV flashlight. Uh, this is a flashlight, this is the Olight, and this is probably, Probably overkill, but it is one of the best, the best flashlights that I have. This, there's a review coming out on this really quick. It, this is an everyday carry. This, this material is stronger than titanium and it's super bright. And it also has uh, three type light modes. It has a UV light, an, uh, an LED laser, or it has a laser light, and then it has a super bright light as well that has multiple modes. It's just crazy powerful. And we're gonna use this to identify the fake from the real. So the first thing is, I wanna show you what fake looks like, right? So here I have two pieces of glass and one of these was giving me a hard time until I, I figured out how to test this out. So I got two done and one of these is fake. Let me show you what the fake one looks like. And we're gonna take these both out so that you can see them. And then we're gonna test a new box that just came in. So we have two pieces of glass here that I haven't engraved yet. And I'm looking for the fake one, all right? This right here, let's see if it's fake or not. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the UV. So the UV light is on. You see how that lit up? That's fake. This will not engrave. It just won't work. Let me show you glass that will engrave. Remember this one that we have right here? Notice how it doesn't glow at all. I'm gonna take this other piece that I have here. It doesn't glow. The beam, notice how the beam just goes right through it. I'm gonna put these now side by side. Fake glass, or not fake glass, uh, inner glass engravable glass, and that which isn't. Notice this, which one glows? Right, this is the only one that glows. We'll do it this way so you can see it right here. This one glows, this one doesn't. This is what we're talking about. So this glass right here will not engrave at all, right? So you can just toss it or use it as a presentation piece. This one will. And the interesting thing is that in this kit, of one, two, three, four pieces, one of them was bad. It will not work. And you wanna, as soon as you get your glass, you wanna go through this test because if you don't, you'll get stuck beyond the return window and not be able to return anything. Here, is, uh, here are, again, some new pieces that I just got. I like these because they're cylindrical, see that? And I wanna see if they are gonna be engravable. Look at that. This one grave. And what I'm gonna do is in the box, I'm just gonna do this. We'll do this overhead shot, see if anything lights up. Nothing is lighting up, the light is going through all of them. All of these pieces, including this small guy, is gonna engrave, which is spectacular. Guess what? I'm getting more, because I'll be able to test. This guy right here, one out of four is bad. I'll leave feedback to the, for the actual uh, shop owner so that they know, because that's not good. Now, here's my tip when it comes to working with glass. Uh, I've been doing a lot of glass, and let's face it, these guys are expensive. And I've been trying to figure out how can I get the most engraves out of a piece of glass to make sure I get my settings right. And I'm working on photos. While I love chess pieces, these are great, guess what? The money isn't in the chess piece, the money is in the photos. And it's photos that look like people. Not photos that look like mummified people, not photos that are basically all white and you can't tell the detail. I'm looking for an inner glass photo that has grayscale black hair, shades of gray. You can see the detail in the face. You can actually see it's your loved one, not that it's a mummified version of your loved one. So let me show you one of the ones that I've been working on that has been coming out pretty nice. So here we have my family, and I'm gonna turn on the light here. 
and get it where it's a little not as bright, and I'm gonna diffuse it. And then you can see right here, and we'll bring this on camera, where I'm starting to get good detail here. See that? So this, there's more detail here, and you can see on this one too, of my family. And you can actually see, for example, you can see the, the black in my son's beard, the color of the hair. You can see Nilda's hair. You can see details. This is what I'm looking for, and this is what I'm striving for in my tests. If we look at it through the overhead camera, you can see it right here. So I have, let's see if we light that up. Let's see if that's gonna be a little bit too bright. All right, right there. So you can see the faces of my family, and you can see the detail even of Nilda's dress. Everything is starting to pop. This is what I'm looking for. Now, there's a couple ways that I've been trying this. Um, you'll notice this piece right here, I have a lot. I took like kind of like the sliced bread approach where I went with all these different pieces trying to get this to work. And at first I got a lot in here, look at all these, but it was not really useful because I can't see the detail. So as soon as you put these pieces right here, they kind of overlap each other. You can see all the tests I've been doing, right? Just trying to get a really good photo, right? Doesn't work. So what I found is that this is the best technique. Notice how I put, I left the center open and then I put the images on each side of the glass, right? And by doing this, what I have now is I have the ability to put images one, two, three, on four times. So that's four times all the way around. And then if I flip it this way, I have also the ability to do two more, right? So I'm able to get more engraves out of a piece of glass, especially these smaller ones, if I put them on the sides, right? And again, what we're working towards is getting again something where we have good photo quality and I can still see uh, my family. So that's a power tip on engraving glass so that you can get the most out of the glass. Because again, these pieces are expensive. So I hope this helps you understand how do I identify bad glass like this. It lights up almost like if it was a Tesseract. Check that out, right? That would be good if this was marble. Not good if you're engraving. So you want pieces of glass that don't light up, right? The beam goes straight right through. And then also, check out this flashlight. It's super powerful and it also has UV too. So why just get a dedicated flashlight when you can have one that has three modes, a laser, a flashlight, and UV as well. See you in the next one.